Hi, everyone. Welcome to a special edition of In the Weeds with Jimmy Young. And today I am honored to be joined by the CEO of Greenflower. His name is Max Simon. He's also the founder of Greenflower, green-flower.com. Did I get that right, Max? That's right. <laughs> and thank you so much for, uh, for making the effort to come out and talk to us today. You know, uh, I think you've heard me tell this story before. When I got my medical card in 2013 here in Massachusetts, I, was, I loved the videos that I found on YouTube that were produced by your company because, first of all, they were highly produced. Second of all, they were educational, deeply educational. And I also uh, got to found out, find out a little bit more about Steve D'Angelo and finally got to meet him too. So I, I was a big fan of Greenflower. And you've done a great job with that company since 2014. Does it feel that long? <laughs> longer <laughs> it's it's been it's been a, an amazing six years but a challenging one amazing and challenging that's how i would describe the cannabis industry never a dull moment a lot smaller than you think and now the two coasts are getting smaller and smaller with a few legal states in between and of course the news of the week is that vermont now turns into the 11th state in the union that you can actually buy adult use cannabis. And uh, that was a big deal because it was the first time a legislature actually got the legalization done. Uh, another historic event. I think you can pretty much say that this cannabis train is, will not be stopped moving forward. Yeah, and, and, and the future is, is quite bright, I believe, um, if things fall the right way, in my particular case, um, in the uh, national election coming up in a few weeks. Um, have you ever seen a more, has there ever been a more dysfunctional time in the United States uh, of America as far as politics and government goes? Not in my lifetime. <laughs> it's chaos. I, it's so bad. I just actually feel like paying attention to it only hurts our mental health. And so I think at this point, politically, everybody's likely very clear where they fall. And um, I wish everybody would just stop talking about it, you know, <laughs> and then everybody could vote and we could decide what the next chapter is going to look like. But it's quite messy right now. Absolutely. And I've got my ballot at home. I got it in the mail. I'll be filling it out and bringing it to the town hall uh, probably the first of next week. So uh, you are absolutely right about that. Max, um, can you take me through a little bit of your model and the journey that Greenflower has been on? You know, you are all about education. And that is something that, you know, as a teacher and a coach for many, many years, I too believe that's the biggest factor in moving this green wave forward is the more we educate people, the more people understand the qualities of this plant. Yeah. So green flowers largely recognized as the leader in cannabis education. And that is because we started very early in 2014 and it came from my long deep background of cannabis. Actually, I've been in two worlds. My my whole life, actually. I've been a closeted cannabis consumer my whole life because I have pretty severe ADHD. And even though I never would have told you up until about six years ago that it was my medicine in hindsight, I realized my whole life I've actually been using cannabis medicinally and I've been a cannabis consumer my whole life. And on the other side, I've always been in digital education. Um, I helped build Deepak Chopra's company, who's a famous spiritual thought leader. And we were able to reach hundreds of millions of people and really change the stigma around meditation. And so I have a, a background in using technology and online mediums to get education and information out there into the world in very large ways. And so we started in 2014 to um, educate the world about cannabis and have largely stayed on that mission, even though we've zigzagged a few times as a business. But today I'm you know, really grateful to announce that we've got these great business lines that, that are really successful. We have a a channel at green-flower.com where we have tens of thousands of people learning about cannabis every day through our um, thousands of hours of online cannabis courses. And we have certificate programs that people can take in order to um, get a certificate in different areas of cannabis, like medical cannabis or extraction or business or patient care. We have 12 of them. Um, and that parlayed into us working inside of cannabis companies where 
now the real the preeminent training company for cannabis organizations to train their staff. And that's because we have this big library and this great technology that also covers things like compliance and safety and quality control and standards of operating in retail and cultivation in um, labs and in um, uh, laboratories, medical cultivation and in retail. And then as those curriculums developed, they got so robust that we started approaching colleges. And I'm really honored to say now that we have um, eight university partnerships as of today with schools like UC Riverside, um, University of San Diego, Florida Atlantic University, Northern Michigan University, um, and many others throughout the country. Uh, we're expecting to triple that number just by 2021, where we're actually the engine that powers their cannabis curriculums through higher ed. And so we run the technology and the marketing and the instruction and the school brings you know, the accreditation and the student base and the credibility to the table. So really nice partnerships. And that means that we're um, you know, educating the world in all these different facets simultaneously and have built a really exciting business on top of all that. Absolutely. And isn't it amazing uh, during this COVID time, this pandemic, that online education has become more necessary and more popular. And you're sitting there with an expanding curriculum in a new industry that is just taking off. It's growing exponentially, I guess is a good way to look at it. And congrats on continuing to expand into the, the college arena. How many hours uh, per course or, or how is it structured as far as uh, accreditation goes? Because I know with most colleges, you have to take a certain amount of hours, course hours, in order to get college credits. Is, how, is that how yours is set up? Yeah, so all of the college programs are 405 hours. They're, they're six month programs. They go through three different courses. Each course is 135 hours. And they're really beautiful programs because there's online content, there's reading and manuals that people get, there's offline projects, there's forums for people to interact, there's homework assignments for and projects for people to complete, and then there's, of course, the exams to get the certificate of completions. And so they're really robust programs that people are getting a ton of value from. And because we have these college relationships, it's also allowed us to set up these partnerships with companies around the country so that those companies, as they're growing and expanding, can be hiring our graduates and have these nice pipelines into kind of guaranteed workforces. And so I think the most exciting part of the cannabis industry from my standpoint is the insane amount of job growth and the fact that, you know, not only was cannabis deemed essential, not only is legalization continuing, but we just this is all happening while it's still federally legal and a schedule one substance. We don't have banking. So once those barriers knock down, which should happen here shortly, we're going to see a, a, a job growth explosion that is literally unparalleled. It'll be the fastest job growth in an industry in many, many decades. And we know that because it's already in the top four right now, even with all these barriers. And so, you know, I, I just feel very excited that higher education is embracing the reality that this is a, a field that requires specialized talent. Specialized talent is typically trained through higher education. And we have the ability to, to partner with those, or, uh, those institutions to be able to really bring those programs to market overnight. That's fantastic. Can you talk a little bit about your sommelier certificate? I think you're <laughs> borrowing, borrowing a, a phrase from the wine industry, and it certainly makes a lot of sense when you think about it, because a sommelier is a, a master of, of which wine is the best on the menu or, or can talk about all different types of wine. I'm guessing the same thing goes with different types, different strains of cannabis. Um, so it turns out that the, the term sommelier is a, a fair use term. It's not trademarked, but it was originally designed as something to signify, right, wine aficionados and wine experts. And so that um, infrastructure of, you know, hundreds of years of wine training to create masters in cannabis wine was well established. And we realized in the cannabis industry that you had this really unfortunate experience of um, millions of people getting wrong, incorrect, made up guidance 
from people that were literally using inaccurate terminology, didn't have any standardized training, didn't have any ways of, of systematically interacting with customers. And quite frankly, at the deepest level, don't even have any real understanding of what quality products mean. And so um, it's not even been announced yet. We just started to tease that this was coming called the Gangier. And I, the Gangier- I saw the picture, I saw the yeah, picture the, with everybody going, shh. Yeah, so it's it was two years in development. We started in 2018. All the photos and everything you took happened well before COVID, which shows you how long we've been working on this. And we aggregated um, 18 of the most experienced cannabis experts that we knew in two levels of understanding, um, quality and service. And we got together for, for two years of time and they collectively put in over 8,000 hours of contribution to come up with the most comprehensive curriculum for training somebody on cannabis quality and cannabis assessment. We created a tool called the SAP, the Systematic Assessment Protocol, which is a systematic tool for accurately grading the quality of cannabis flower and concentrates. And then we designed the, systematic, the customer interaction protocol, something that people can use to engage with customers in a systematic way to provide the highest level of service, all while training people to develop their palates, develop their level of understanding of aromas and terpene profiles and ability to communicate that using standard lexi uh, terminology and, and, and lexicology. And so it's a really exciting thing that's been years and years and years in the making. And uh, the response thus far has been just overwhelmingly positive. And so people can find out more about that at yeah, ganjia.com. Ganjia. Dot com. I love that. Um, can we go back in time a little bit to April of 2018? Probably not something you'd like uh, to talk about, but I believe around the same time that I posted my first podcast uh, and, and I found out that YouTube had purged its site of all cannabis related content. Uh, how, how disappointing and how upset were you when that happened? Well, it was just shocking because um, I can understand at least when they are purging the site because there are people that are talking about cannabis products and consuming cannabis products can be against different rules. And that was their kind of argument. But we were a pure education company. We hadn't taken any advertising dollars. We weren't selling any products. We weren't even recommending any products. And so it's the equivalent of somebody taking down a hunting video because they don't like hunting or somebody taking down a cooking video or somebody taking down a makeup video where it's educational and informational and was completely a, a form of, of pure censorship, to be quite honest with you. And so um, it's irritating and it's frustrating and it shows you how far we have to go. But one of the greatest benefits I had of being so early with Deepak Chopra is that um, I distinctly and vaguely remember when I would get um, literal death threats from different religious right groups telling us that yoga was uh, spreading the devil's work or that meditation was invoking Satan. And it reminded me that even though people have very strong reactions to things when they have strong beliefs, um, it doesn't mean that those beliefs will stay because after years of work and time, you know, every part of the equation turned out to be untrue and now the world meditates. And so I just see these things as more bumps, speed, you know, inevitable speed bumps on the path to changing global consciousness. And, you know, you get frustrated for a sec, you take a deep breath and keep going. There you go. Now, on your uh, YouTube, you, you, on your YouTube, I'm sorry, on your LinkedIn profile, you list yourself as a mindset architect. Can you define what that is? Yeah, I have a, a personal love and a passion for um, understanding how we can optimize our potential in this lifetime. Um, I find it so um, unusual that people don't realize that this is the only lifetime we have. We, you know, not not to say that there may not be more lifetimes or something else, but this is it. This is our shot. And so I am a, 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 a ferocious student of understanding how I can make sure that in this lifetime, I squeeze the most value, I deliver the most value, I experience the most value, I contribute the most deeply. And I've, as I've gone down that path, I've realized that it's your mindset that controls and navigates every part of 
the decisions you make and how you show up and how you feel and how you communicate and what you spend your time on and who you are in the world. And so for myself, I've become um, a mastery level practitioner of mindset to really make sure that the way I'm looking at the world is optimized in every way. And then I oftentimes will work with people, whether it's, um, you know, in teaching environments or coaching environments to help them shape their mindsets in a way that, that help them do the same. There you go. Well said. And uh, there is this mind body connection too, that you wave the flag a lot. It has a lot to do, I believe, with the plant, your, your, you are also your uh, commitment to meditation, your, your background on that. Um, the plant was put on this earth by God for a purpose. Can you explain what you think that purpose truly is for people? Well, I like to just understand some of the mechanics before I get too philosophical, which is that um, cannabis is, is one of the most bioactive plants on the earth. There, there's actually not um, many other plants on planet Earth that produce as many chemi chemical compounds, the concentration of chemical compounds, the diversity of chemical compounds, um, the rigor of those compounds than the cannabis plant. And so let's just fundamentally look at the fact that that in itself is special, that, that this plant is the most bioactive plant that exists on planet Earth. But then when you realize that the diversity of those compounds interacts with the human physiology in quite special and harmonious ways, that, that, that endocannabinoid system helps us generate states of homeostasis, helps us improve mechanic systems like digestion and sleep, helps do things like elevate mood, helps balance hormonal, um, uh, hormonal imbalances, there's all these mechanical things that the compounds actually do inside of the body. And then you, you know, add into the fact that it's incredibly fast growing. You add into the fact that it can grow in enormous proportions and enormous different climates and environments. You add into the fact that those compounds can be extracted and put into a myriad of different substances and consumed in a whole myriad of different ways. And that that same plant you know, packaged in these different modalities has radically different benefits on society from, you know, creative and inspirational down to uh, relaxing or sleep inducing to pain relieving to, you know, the non psychoactive components of pain relief and inflammation. And so, you know, I mean, I could just keep talking about all these facts. And at a certain point, just the rational person goes, that's pretty impressive. Right. But the problem is, is that just people don't know the facts. That's what education is, is they're missing the, the, the valid, credible information. But the more you know about it, the more you kind of can't help but feel excited by its potential because it touches healthcare, it touches industry, it touches agriculture, it touches legal and compliance and policy, it touches banking, it touches spirituality, it, you know, it touches um, everything. And so, yeah, I, I feel like the facts communicate what a beautiful plant this is. And like many, I feel, you know, just a little bit honored that I get to play some role in helping other people get the value of it as well. Well, that's the educator in you. That's the, the person who wants to give back the knowledge that you've accumulated and make an impact on the world, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. One last thing about uh, business lessons. Um, we always, I'm always looking for business lessons that uh, someone like yourself, who's a CEO, you've built a company, a viable company over the last six years. And there's a phrase I use a lot that is adapt and improvise. How important mm -hmm. is that when you're building a business? I mean, I don't, um, I always tell people pretty upfront that this cannabis business, this is actually my sixth business. Um, and this has been the hardest business I've ever done by a huge margin, by a factor of 100. And I think that's important because as much passion and excitement there is, there's a lot of obstacles and challenges and roadblocks in this industry that are very difficult. And for us, I, we have <laughs> zigzagged and adjusted and pivoted and, you know, changed courses way, way, way more times than I would have liked 
but it's partially because the industry is changing so fast. And when we, for example, when we had originally started, we didn't have plans to be a, a B2B training company. It wasn't part of our vision or infrastructure, but the industry started growing so fast. The need for trained, educated, credible workforce became stronger and stronger. And there was a bigger and bigger opportunity expanding day by day. And so we moved into that space to take advantage of something that we thought we could do really well. And it's been great. And I could say that with higher education and I could say that with the certificates and I, you know, there's all these areas. And so it's great. It's a great challenge. It's a tremendous challenge. But I think in cannabis, if you're not adaptable and flexible and open-minded and curious, um, you're just not going to make it in this space because everything keeps changing and evolving so fast and you have to be willing to do adapt with it. There you go. Fantastic. Max Simon, CEO of green-flower.com. And the, the new group is Ganjier. What's that? Ganjier.com. It's G-A-N-J-I-E-R.com. There you go. He's Max Simon from Green Flower. I'm Jimmy Young from Pro Cannabis Media. Remember, it's a whole new world of weed out there. Use it responsibly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We Talk Now, We Talk News, and In the Weeds are all available on most major podcast distributors like iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and our friends at clnsmedia.com and our flagship, cannabis.net. So subscribe, share, and like our videos on all the social media networks out there, including LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, The Weed Tube, and YouTube. Weed Talk and In the Weeds are two productions of Pro Cannabis Media supported by Revolutionary Clinics, one of the top medical cannabis dispensaries in the Massachusetts area, now with three locations in Greater Boston, two in Cambridge, and one on Broadway in Somerville. Rev Clinics has a patient-first mission. They will customize your needs as a medical patient with the proper titration and combination of strains, flavors, and products. Rev Clinics, where the patient comes first. We are Pro Cannabis Media.